white chocolate cranberry shortbread. This is a little different than regular shortbread. When you make shortbread, usually you pat it into a pan and score it, and then you cut it into squares or triangles, or you roll it out and you cut out shapes. This one's going to be a drop cookie, very unusual for shortbread. So in my mixing bowl, I have one pound of butter softened at room temperature. This makes a lot of cookies, this recipe. And also, at this time, I'm going to add just a touch of vanilla extract. I just like the addition of the vanilla. And now, we will put it on our mixer. And I also have one cup of flour, which we will be, I mean, excuse me, one cup of sugar and four cups of flour. A pound of butter, four cups of flour, so you can see how it's going to make a lot of cookies. So you start adding the sugar and let that get nice and creamy. And then for the addition, I have six ounces of very nice white chocolate that I've cut into chunks. This is a Calibo Belgian chocolate. You can buy some of this. I've seen it in supermarkets here locally, so you can buy it there or you can buy it in specialty stores. It's a little bit more expensive. Don't use the white candy melts. That's not even chocolate. Um, and then we're also going to need some dried cranberries, one and a half cups that we're going to add to this. All right, this is creaming up nicely. We can start adding our flour. And there's no chilling of this dough. It's just after you finish it, we're just going to scoop it and bake it. So I'm adding approximately half of the flour now. And I missed, and I got a whole bunch on my counter. It's okay. Very strong smell of vanilla and butter. Really nice. Okay, now we can add the rest of our flour. You can do this by hand if you don't have a mixer. You just have to beat it well with a wooden spoon. If, you're, if your butter is nice and soft and at room temperature, you won't have much trouble. It's just incorporating this much flour. It's so much easier with a mixer. down a little bit. Add our six ounces of chocolate. I use a kitchen scale to measure it. It's probably a little bit more than a cup. You could use the white chocolate bits, I suppose. That's not my favorite, but a cup and a half of cranberries. There's a cup, and there is eyeballing it, about a half a cup. And just put it back on the mixer for a minute, just to, not even a minute, a couple seconds, just to uh, incorporate those things in there. And that's it. Now, in the back, my oven is heating to 350 degrees. And these will go in for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, again, every oven's different. I would start checking around seven or eight minutes, just to be sure. Okay. Now, I have my cookie sheets. Again, I like to use parchment paper. You don't have to. You can use 
um, sill pad if that's what you have, which are those rubbery kind of um, liners. I use those too, but these I can throw away. The sill pad I still have to wash. Or you can just, you know, light, lightly grease because there's so much butter in here, you don't need a lot of grease. And then about two inches apart on your cookie sheet. Try to keep them as round as possible so they'll look nice. I'm using my little disher here or ice cream scoop, whatever you want to call it. In the professional kitchens, they would call them dishers. That one needs an extra cranberry. And we'll just finish filling up our cookie sheets and baking them off, and I'll show you when they come out of the oven. There goes our first sheet. Here are our white chocolate cranberry shortbread cookies warm out of the oven. They're still too warm to take off the sheet. I actually got 47 cookies out of this. And one thing I forgot to mention is that after you scoop them onto the sheets, you've got that rounded bit, just take your hand, either moistened or with a little bit of flour, and just press them down a little bit. They'll spread out nicer. So there they are, white chocolate cranberry cookies. I hope you make them. They really are delicious. Mm. They're melting. <laughs>